Hi guys. This is D Igoratech. Today, I will show you how to install Forda Client version 7 on Ubuntu. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you. Let's proceed. First step is we will download Forda Client from official website. Open your web browser and go to support.fortinet.com. Login if you already have an account. If you don't have one then you can download it from the link on the description below. Now, go to support. Choose firmware download. Under select product. Choose for the client. You can read these release notes if you want. Now, let's go to download tab. In this window, we have the option for Android, iOS, Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. For Windows operating system. You can check my other video. I also have the version for Mac OS. You can check the links on the description below. Since we are going to install on Ubuntu then we will choose Linux. We have the version 6 and version 7 available. We are going to install the latest version so we will choose version 7. We only have 7.0 available. During the time of this recording, the latest version available is 7.0.1. Now, we have some options to choose to. But for this demo we are going to install Forda Client VPN so we will choose Forda Client VPN.deb. To download the file, click HTTPS. Choose Save File then hit OK. Wait for it to download the Debian package. Let's now check the downloaded file. The file name is for the client VPN followed by the version and the file type. Now, right click on the blank space. Choose open terminal. First thing we have to do is check for update. Enter the command sudo apt update then hit enter. Input your password. You can see all packages are up to date. ls to display the list of files and directories. We can see the file which we just downloaded since we are currently in downloads folder. Next is enter the command sudo dpkg-i. Copy the complete file name of the Forda client deb file. Make sure to have space then paste the copied text. Hit enter. Unpacking Forda client. You will encounter this error, dpkg, error processing package Forda client. Although the application has been installed but you cannot use the application. To fix this error. Go back to terminal. Enter the command, sudo apt-get install f, hit enter. Press Y then hit enter to continue. Wait for it to set up the installation. We have two options for the installation. Y or I to install the package maintainer's version. N or O to keep your currently installed version. The default action is to keep your current version. Well we can choose N which is recommended, however we can test to install the package maintainer's version. Again, you can choose N, besides the installation process is the same. Installation successful, you can see cache file created successfully. We can now run the application, you can go to apps or you can click on the taskbar icon then choose for the client. Let's first check the application version. Click on information or iLogo. You can see the current running version is 7.0.1. Now, go back to home. Click configure VPN. For the connection name, enter your preferred name. We will name it as office. For the description, it's optional. For the remote gateway, enter the public IP address of the remote site, or you can input the dynamic DNS. If you haven't customized the port then leave it blank, but in my case, I configure the port so I will check customize port and enter the port configured which in my case is 10443. Leave SSO disabled if not configured. We can leave the client certificate to none. For the authentication, you can tick save login for your credentials to be saved. 
Enter your username then click save. Now, enter your password then click connect. Enter your password then click unlock. Confirmation required. Simply click OK to proceed. VPN is connected. If you encountered some issue, update the package sources or restart your computer. In this window, you can see the VPN name. Your VPN IP address. Username. Duration. Bytes received and bytes sent. To disconnect, simply click on disconnect. For more options, click on the burger icon. We have the option to add new connection, edit the selected connection and delete the selected connection. Next is I will show you how to back up the configuration. I already created multiple remote sites for the sake of this video. This is very useful especially if you have bunch of remote sites configured. You don't need to enter all the remote sites details again. You can easily restore it to other computers or after fresh install. To do this, go to settings or the gear icon. Click backup. Choose your preferred folder where you want to save the file. In my case, I will choose desktop. Enter the file name. We will name it for the client remote sites. Click save. You need to input file password, minimum of 8 characters. Once done click OK. Backup file created successfully. Notice the file that has been added on desktop. Next is I will show you how to restore the configuration. First let's delete the remote sites configured assuming it's a new device or fresh install. You can see it's like a fresh install. Click on the gear icon or settings. Notice the restore option is grayed out so we have to unlock the advanced features. Click the padlock icon. Input your admin password. The restore option is now available. Click on it. Locate the backup configuration file. In my case it's located on desktop. Click on it then click open. Now, input the password you have configured during the backup process. Click OK once done. Configuration restored successfully. Go back to home. You can now see that the remote sites has been restored. To verify, we can test connect to one of the remote sites again. VPN connected. The restore process was successful. You can use the backup file to restore the Forda client configuration, regardless on what Forda client version or operating system running like Windows or Mac OS. To uninstall Forda client, open the terminal. Enter the command sudo apt get purge remove Forda client. This is to remove including any configuration files. Press Y then hit enter. It will now remove the Forda client including the configuration files. Success. You can check the application to verify. The Forda client has been successfully removed. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you like this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.